Region. Now, Social and Economic Empowerment Conference for Youth is happening today in Machakos County at the People's Park. Governor Alfred Mutua is hosting the event under the theme Empower for Change. Youth from across the county are attending with hopes of gaining training, funding and job opportunities. Various corporations and leaders are also in attendance. Our reporter Malika Kazia is there for us. Malika, a good conference there for the youth. What more do we know about it? from the People's Park in Machakos. And of course, this is where the Machakos County Government Youth Empowerment Conference is ongoing today. And we want to talk to Dr. Alfred Mutua, Governor Dr. Alfred Mutua, with regards to this conference and what the youth can expect from it. So thank you so much for speaking to us, Governor. Um, you know, especially when we look at the number and the population of the youth in this country and those that are looking for jobs, especially, it's a vast majority. You know, what can we do at this level? And what are you, of course, aiming to do with this particular conference to alleviate the unemployment uh, levels that we're seeing in Kenya today. This conference is about empowerment. It's telling our people that it doesn't matter where you come from. I grew up very poor. I used to live in Kibira, in Makina with nothing. I grew up in Kangware in a wooden shack. But because I was chap chap, I went and sought opportunities. So this is a, a conference to empower youth. Tell them there is a youth fund. Today we've just given 10.2 million shillings. Today 500 people are getting jobs. Telling you how to apply yourself, how to get a job. Don't wait and say, as and you fix you Mali. Me, nobody has ever fixed me. You don't wait for others to try and fix you somewhere. You go and work hard and you learn the skills of how to be able to do it. And especially when it comes to a lot of the advice that was being given, you know, there was look at the market, what is the gap? And there's also what is your passion? So where do you find the balance there? You see, there's a big gap because a lot of people want jobs but they're not qualified for those jobs. People have to know that you don't sit at home. Find whatever job that you can do and do it. But we need to get this country in order because we've got massive corruption going on. And if people see corruption at the high levels, when they hear people here that in the DP's office people are doing a deal, then people at the lower level think that corruption is okay, which makes it difficult for young people. We've suffered because corruption chases away industries. You know, industries are moving to Rwanda, to South Africa, not Kenya because of corruption. Who suffers? These young men. Now we've got over 10,000 people came today. Others walked from home. They don't even have money. You know, I have to provide for them lunch today because some are telling me they slept hungry. They are poor, but I'm telling them that do not give up hope. We are going to make it. And this is the beginning of a journey that I'm taking together with the youth of this country to tell them I'm going to stand there for you. I'm going to fight for your rights. We are going to empower you. We are going to get companies to employ a lot of you so that you are able to get jobs. And, and, uh, and not only get jobs, we teach them how to get into businesses. There's about a billion shillings sitting there in the national government for young people. Most of them think that you have to be special. You can walk in today, get 100,000 shillings to start a biashara, that you employ your sister, your brother, your cousin, your best friend, and the economy continues growing. So with regards to our last question, of course, the education and, yes. of course, being able to qualify for yes. certain jobs, yes. Yes. where do you think we are as a country and what more needs to be done? I think uh, the president is doing a lot with these uh, technical training colleges, but I want to tell our people that you just need to get in and start. Even if you got a D minus, you can go and do uh, a certificate, a bridging course, do a certificate. Finish the certificate, you do a diploma. You get, uh, you finish with the diploma, you have a high diploma. You get a university degree. Before you know it, you can be a pilot with Kenya Airways. You can be a pilot with Emirates. You can do whatever you want as a man, as a woman. So it doesn't matter where you are because people at times fail exams because they are poor. Or Lalanja, they have gone to a bad school, they have not been taught properly, so you are, you are, you are actually, actually just pushed down. The other thing is to know that if you don't have a skill, you can't get a job. You need to get the papers, you need to get a skill, and you need to be better than the next person. But we need to fix this country so that we grow opportunities. We need to have uh, direct finances, we need to get investors to come to this country, set up factories, other people's money, so you can provide jobs. If we don't do that, we will continue the corruption we have with the government bureaucracy, where land issues take forever, documents take forever, we will continue being poor. We need a revolution in the way things are done in this country. Maybe we need a Mandela chap chap way of doing things. That's how I do it, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Asante sana. And there you have it, of course, uh, Governor Dr. Alfred Mutua talking about the reforms that need to take place in the country as well as the initiatives that already do exist in the country with regards to empowering the youth and, of course, making sure that they're employed, reducing unemployment levels.